All right, welcome back. Uh, I have a real treat today. Well, some things that I get excited about. I want to run the collator in uh, double cycle mode. I forget what it's called. I don't do it that often. Um, oh yes, double cycle mode. In case you want to read about it. Essentially, I'm going to split my tower into two so I can run this job, which is 7,000 booklets, uh, non-stop. So as it pulls from one section, I can load the other section. So let me show you how to do that. So as you see here in the drawing, I can either split one tower, so one to five, or six to 10, or I can just split A and B, my two towers. Um, I think I'm just gonna split the one tower for this and, uh, and uh, that'll be just fine. So it's a small eight page booklet. I only have two sheets of paper. So I'm gonna put two up here, first signature, second signature, and then two down here, first and second signature. And it's really simple. Well, I wanna make sure I have only one tower turned on. And then we go over here, turn this on, and then you see this graphic here, half of it's grayed out, so it split the first tower in half. Uh, we should be good to go for setting this up. Go back in here, let's load this up, and also set up the uh, stitcher here. Once we're loaded up, up here, and down here, just gotta hit that right there. No doubles or anything, so that's good. We do need to pull this out though because it's gonna have, oops, it's gonna have two booklets in there. Uh, but now we should be good. We should be able to just start it right up here. And before I get started, a uh, customer also wanted this in bundles of 100, and rather than counting them afterwards, I'm gonna try and use uh, this this guy here, which will offset each 100 booklet so that it's already counted. Now, I don't use this that much, but you gotta turn it on over here. I gotta move this over so that this wheel will come down and hit the booklet. And then we need to set our counter here. Oh, whoops, it's three. So uh, we move this to a hundred and we should be good. Reset, okay. This might take a little bit of trial and error because I don't do it that much, but we'll get this work to work here as well. One thing I changed as I was running this is I, instead of splitting the first tower in half, I, uh, I'm putting two here and two here now. And that's just because uh, it's a little bit easier to load because the blower will turn off on the tower that's not being ran currently. So uh, just a heads up, that, that makes it a little bit easier. So like my homemade guide. This side guide is too close to uh, this stop right here, so I can't put the factory guide in there. And I was having some of the booklets hang down a little low when they were coming across here. So I just put a piece of cardstock underneath here and it's run fine. It's always so fun to do something little like that that just makes it run real good.
there's 120 more stitches on here, it's gonna come close. Not much to spare. That's 7,045, so got lucky. Well, that job was fun. On to the next one. You know, I don't use that preset kicker that much, but it's kind of handy on a job like that. I should probably try and use it more often. This new cutter is sweet, and it has a counter now. I've never had that before, so I never knew how many trims I got out of a blade when I would change it. So, I mean, it's interesting. This blade is probably about ready to be replaced. Here, it's set up. Okay. Set up uh, counters. So since I had the machine 9841 times, uh, and the, the alarm is set to go off every 5,000 cuts, and I'm a little over 5,000 now, uh, and there's also an alarm for lubrication. So I'm curious to anybody out there, what do you typically get out of a knife on a guillotine like this? Uh, 5,000? I think it's probably about right. Uh, but it's kind of crazy though because on here, uh, I gotta turn the air on. But on this machine, I think I might be up to like 20,000 trims and it still looks good. So, but that, I guess, depends on your book thickness. If it's just a bunch of small books, it's gonna last a lot longer than doing big stacks of paper over here. So, anyways, just curious as what you get out of a, a knife, uh, and even, well, so then the knife on the back of the collator here is even like a different type of knife because there's two, and it's kind of like a scissors. And those suckers, they keep going forever. Uh, my previous collator, I think I only sharpened it like once and I had like a million trims on it. Uh, and this blade, this blade has 192,000 trims on it and it's just going just fine. So, uh, I mean, I'm just gonna keep on trimming until that needs to be replaced or until it, until it cuts a stitch and nicks the blade. But, Okay, so last year, the typical guy that I get to sharpen any straight knives around here uh, retired, and uh, he turned me on to uh, another company called Tri-State Knife. Um, and I just wanna show you, this is really cool. Uh, they, they do some pretty nice artwork on here. I mean, they, they sanded off the scabbard and then wrote on the, the company. And they did it on that side too. That's sweet. See ya.